Next, we're going to style the closing message, the paragraph along with the action button. To start, I'm going to click on the container element and it will pop right into the canvas. Like always, I'm going to the styles pane to give it a class name. In this case, I'm naming it the closing container. Next, I'm going to the content pane again and we'll add a medium sized paragraph. Really, it doesn't matter which one you want to pick there. Along with a button link. Notice the button link already does have some styles, but we'll come back to that. So first select that paragraph and enter the class closing P. With the class name in place, we are now ready to apply different styles. Once we have those configured, go ahead and select the closing container. And we're going to change its layout display property to flex. To change that direction, we'll select it to apply to the column, which will make the item stack and align center. We'll go ahead and scroll down a bit and add some space by applying both 10 pixels on the left and right margin. Go ahead and re-click on that paragraph and let's add some styles now to it including the uh, font type. I'm going to put Georgia. And we can increase that font size. And let's also go ahead and put a different color for the font as well. Next, select that button link. Go ahead and right click and we can change that text. We'll go ahead and say book today. Let's take a vacation. And then over on the right, go back over to the styles pane so we can add some, some characteristics to this button. Um, we'll go ahead and, and add that Georgia font type again. And increase that font size and then change the color. Eek! Abort! Let's go ahead and cancel that. We want to keep that color white and actually want to change the background. So if we scroll down to that background section, here we can actually change that background color to that deep gray color and select OK. And the next thing we're going to do, if we go ahead and scroll a little bit further down to the border radius, we can add a 7 pixel to both the X and Y axis to round out those corners.